All right, so in this video, we're checking out the Tron Smart Mirror Tune S100 portable speaker. And uh, pretty nice size here for the money. And I have been using this for a little while, and it sounds uh, really loud and very clear. We'll talk about the sound quality here in great detail momentarily. But uh, in the box, of course, you get the speaker, USB-C charging cable, you get a warranty card. And you get a little information here about the sound pulse technology. We'll talk about that here in a second and how that works. And then you get a user manual and um, it works. Uh, the, the manual is uh, very detailed, it shows all the buttons and what it does. But we'll show you that here on the speaker in a second. But the uh, manual is very good in case you've never used a Bluetooth speaker before, but they have designed it so that um, Basically, if you've used a Bluetooth speaker before, you pretty much don't need to use a manual unless you are using the app. And I will show you how that works here a little bit later in the video, but here's what it looks like. It comes in blue and in black. Got this nice little handle here. Uh, it does collapse down. This is silicone and very, I think this is gonna be very durable. Uh, you can see the size of my hand there and in terms of the size of the speaker, this is like a, in, I don't know, just my subjective opinion, like a really optimal portable speaker in terms of size and weight, uh, in terms of sound quality and, and sound volume that you get. Uh, not too big and not too small. And so I really uh, I think this is gonna be really nice. So you got a little flat area here, also silicone rubber for it to sort of sit here. There are two drivers in here, like one over here and one over here. It's kind of behind this sort of cloth plating or grill. And um, it's 80 watts total, so it's two 40 watt drivers there. And then you have a passive driver here on this side. You can see you have some LEDs. You can program that in the app. And same as I another set of passive LED um, drivers here and LEDs on this side. So you get some party lights in this one here. Um, in the front power button, press that two seconds to turn it on. If you're pairing it for the first time, you're gonna press this Bluetooth button to pair it, to put it into pair mode, and pair it to your phone. This is the sound plus button, or sound pulse button. And um, that's basically the different EQs that you can access. So I'll show you that here in the app in a second. That their Bluetooth light, it's solid, means you're connected. I am connected to my phone right now. And then you have some lights here indicating the charge level on the battery, I think uh, that is when you're plugged in. i will show you that here when it's charging. And then you have your minus and plus for volume and track forward and backwards. Play and pause button here. You know, all very nice. Uh, no, it doesn't feel cheap. Very, everything seems really nice quality. A little flap here in the back to cover your ports. This is IPX7 waterproof rated. So you can see nothing is there's no way for water to get inside unless you happen to accidentally leave this flap open. So uh, the battery in here is 8,000 milliamp hours and they say 20 hours of battery on time for this very adequate for this at 50% volume. So these are the ports that you wanna make sure that these are covered so that you have your waterproof reading secured. Otherwise water will get in and you probably will kill it. Uh, USB-C port there for charging. You have a USB-A port here, so you, if you have a um, like a USB stick or something with, with songs on it, you can plug that in and then access the songs there. And you have to change the mode of this in the app to uh, change it from the Bluetooth mode. And if you want to use the, uh, there's a little micro SD card slot there for TF mode, you can do that, or this is the U-Disc mode. And there's also an AUX port here as well. So. Uh, pretty much all of the options here are really nice. It's kind of interesting that they've kind of gone all out now on this one. Uh, that my previous Tron smart speakers, they didn't offer aux or the uh, SD card typically or the, the USB uh, disc option. So and I think um, they're listening to feedback from people. People want all the options. And so if you have, you have a you know, three and a half millimeter audio cable from some other device, you want to pump uh, music into this, you can do that. Uh, SD card, you can do that. Or you know, USB stick, you can do that as well. There is a little reset button there in case something goes wrong, but uh, it's probably only in case of emergency. So yeah, all of the ports there are available if you want it. And so 
Let me just show you the app really quickly and then we'll go right into the sound audio quality demo. Okay, so I have demonstrated the app in previous videos. I'll link some of this in the video description. Basically, you get into the app here. Um, once you installed, you have some speakers to sh uh, show. I think the last uh, review we did was the Amir Tune H1. And so now we have the S100 now. And it'll search. I've already paired it up. And you see it shows up here. You got your volume adjustment here and the same buttons forward and backwards and play. Shows your battery level right there, 100%. Uh, you have your little settings over here. You can update the firmware. This is the latest firmware is already on there right now. You can turn it off and disconnect. And there is also an online user's manual as well. So uh, the one I just kind of briefly showed you, if you lose the paper manual, the, they do have this in the app as well. So you don't have to worry about uh, you know saving that. If you lose it, it's not a big deal. Go back here and then uh, the uh, sound pulse technology is this particular music preset here. So if I press this the sound plus sound pulse button here, that should activate that. There we go. Press that, and then that's. So this is kind of um, uh, it. It's like an adaptive EQ setting, so it'll adapt to the type of music that's being generated. I have played with it. I think that. If you're not really sure what kind of sound quality you're looking for, I would just go with that and it sounds really good overall on the sound pulse setting. The default setting I think is good for more like general audio, um, say audiobooks, um, uh, stuff like you know, maybe like um, just general music, not, nothing with too much bass. And if you like a lot of extra bass, go with a deep bass setting. Uh, that's like R&B music, a lot of deep bass, if, or just if you like bass in general. Now, I did notice that between, like basically, if you go, if you just want bass and you just don't, that's all you care about, then just go for that. But if you kind of want a good sort of balance, then sound pulse is probably the way to go. So what I'm going to do is I'll demonstrate um, some uh, clips here, and I'll switch between these three, and then I'll show you on screen what you're listening to, and then you can tell me if you notice any unique characteristics of the different ones for the particular clip. Obviously, the kind of music you listen to is going to really sort of tilt the balance of what's going to sound better for these different EQ settings, and you can kind of go wild there. And if you just want to customize it to the way you exactly like it, you can do that as well. So we'll start off with the default here, and uh, we'll get some music on here. And just let me know what you guys think in the comments. Now, before I get into the sound samples, I do want to show some additional stuff here in the app. So there was the main page here, and then you have your equalizer page, and then you have these additional settings here. So the main mode is the Bluetooth mode, and if you want to switch it to the aux mode or the TF card mode or the U-disc mode, you just you know click on one of these. Those are the three options in the back. You have a stereo pairing mode, so if you have two of these speakers, you can put them into stereo pairing mode. There's instructions on how to do that in the manual. I have demonstrated this on the uh, other Tronsmart speaker I reviewed a while back, the T7 Lite. So I'll link that video in the description if you want to have an idea of what that feature is like. Obviously, I won't be able to demonstrate that with this speaker because I don't have two of them. And then here is where you can change your different LED modes. So you can go in here and right now is on deep breath or we can change it to carousel or fashion party not sure um, what the differences are obviously yeah so just give you an idea of what it's like i think it's going to the the pace of the change will vary based on the music that you're playing so you're probably not going to see that here because i have under some bright lights here because you can't really see it at all unless you're looking at it from the side but those three modes are available to you or you can just turn them off if you don't care, so um, I'm just gonna turn them off here to save some battery. All right, so let's go ahead now and do the sound samples.
Okay, so all that was at about 20% volume. This thing is very loud and it still remains pretty clear even up to about 80% volume. I would say if you're looking for a speaker with really good mids and highs, this one I think qualifies, at least for most of the stuff that I've listened to. Um, and the deep bass stuff, I think it's going to be very subjective. I think the deep bass stuff is adequate for a speaker of this size, especially with these passive drivers on the side. Uh, personally, it doesn't it doesn't sound like it's too overpowering. Obviously, some people like really overpowering bass. I think it's good enough for the size. Obviously, if you really want overpowering bass, you really got to go for something with physically bigger drivers, something physically larger than this. But I think for the size, it does do a uh, very good job on the bass side. And the fact that you can, you know, um, adjust the EQ to your liking is a plus with the uh, with the app, of course. That is a big uh, selling point on TronSmart's uh, speakers. And then I think the Sound Pulse technology, if you're just kind of looking for an all around good sound, whether it is uh, mostly in the highs, mids, or lows, that does a pretty good job adjusting around the type of music you listen to. So if you listen to a wide variety of stuff, you don't feel like fiddling around with the EQ settings, um, you know, back and forth all the time, then uh, the sound pulse setting seems to be a really good one to use. Anyway, uh, pricing will be down in the video description, the link to that. I don't have it at, at the time of this uh, recording this video, unfortunately, so uh, you'll have to check the link in the video description to see the current pricing. This is a brand new speaker just coming on the market right now, and I am releasing this on, I think the release date is the embargo date. So yeah, check the link down in the video description in case you're wondering what the price is. Uh, got any comments, questions, you know, um, what's your subjective opinion on the audio quality? Uh, you know, leave them down in the comment section below. That'll do it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.